Hey guys, you're listening to the Inspirational Power Hour. And listen, I am so excited today because I'm talking to my friend and my brother, none other than recording artist, vocalist extraordinaire. I'm talking about Dwayne Woods. How you doing? I am doing great. How about yourself? I'm great. It's so good to finally have you on the show. Thank you. I'm so honored. I mean, you've been doing this for like 100 years, and this is my first time. <laughs> well, you know what? We've been waiting for the right time, so now's the time. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know, I think it's official now that you have been on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you've been doing, you've been doing an excellent job. I've been following you, and I'm just so proud of you. So excited for you, too. Thank you so much. And Dwayne, listen, we are excited about new music. This new single that you have. Listen, I heard it. I love it. Friend of mine, I absolutely love it. Oh, thank you so much. I, 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 I told somebody earlier today, I'm so nervous because, you know, it's a different sound for me. Um, everybody's always used to me coming out with, with some kind of a soulful ballad, uh, you know, so on and so forth. So to come out and have some edge behind it, it's almost like a quartet churchy r&b all mixed up in one you know so to come out like that it's, it's kind of perking everybody's ears up and i'm just i'm 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 anxious i'm excited uh and i'm nervous all at the same time but but most of all i believe that people are really receiving the song and i'm really enjoying what they're hearing you know and we remember Dwayne let go that amazing song and you dominated the music industry uh several years ago when you came on the scene with that project it was amazing but tell our listeners what made you kind of want to push the envelope and go in a different direction musically with this single. Um, you know, I just I think it's just a simple fact that you there are times that you have to mix things up. You have to uh, kind of shake shake the people. You have to shake their ears. You have to shake your audience. And I just believe that that when you do that, not only are the consumers that 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 always follow you are there, but you also can sometimes gravitate to another audience that's probably never heard of you. I never experienced, I never knew that you had this in you. And so, uh, you know, not only did we change the sound for me, but I also added my brothers. I, I, I called on Anthony Hamilton. I called on Dave Hollister and I was like, hey, could you guys come and do this song? And it, it, it's, it's so amazing because when I got the original demo, for the song, um, I immediately heard Anthony's voice on it. I immediately heard Dave's voice on it. There were sections of the song that I just heard them. And so it was so easy. These are, these are you know, friends of mine for years. I don't want people to think that I just called on them from out of the blue. I've been knowing Anthony and Dave for 12 plus years. We've been on the road together. Uh, we all just have, we've always had a brotherhood. And so, you know, I was able to call them up personally. And, and, it's, and it's just great because, you know, not only do we have my audience now, but you have the audience of Anthony Hamilton, you have the audience of Dave Hollister. And, and we're just kind of crossing over and allowing other people to be exposed to what it is that we love to do. All right, guys, again, we are talking to Dwayne Woods. We're talking about the new single, Friend of Mine. And listen, Dwayne, tell our listeners, you know, you, you, you're you no novice to this. You've been doing this a long time. You're one of those people that I think really seem like you grew up in the gospel industry. So tell us how you got started. Wow, yeah. I, I, I've been doing it for quite, quite some time. Uh, uh, I can honestly say that my, my probably international start was, was with John P. Key, but I've been singing all my life. I, I was born on Sunday morning right after church, well, Sunday afternoon right after church, and my mother sang the day that she had me, so I had no other choice but to do what it is that I'm doing. Uh, but people would know me from John P. Key, from the show up record. I did a song called I Surrender uh, on that project, and I was also traveling with uh, some gospel stage plays. I was actually out with a stage play called A Good Man Is Hard to Find, which was where John heard me. And then from, from singing with Pastor Key, Donald heard me singing with Pastor Key. And uh, when my time was up with Pastor Key, I moved on over, started singing with the Tri-City Singers. And, uh, you know, God's has been opening door after door after door. The Bible is really true when he says that your gift will make room for you and bring you before a great man. So, I've, I've, you know, I'm not a newcomer at this. I've been at this for quite some time. And, you know, spending so much time in the gospel industry and singing with the likes of Pastor John P. Key and Donna Lawrence, we've seen your face and your name on so many other projects as well as a vocal director and vocal arranger. Yeah. But tell us what the signature sound of Dwayne Woods is. What do you feel the heartbeat of your ministry and your message and your music is? And you know what? I just always think that it's, it's, it's inspirational. And anything that I can say that inspires people or uh, it helps it helps people through what it is that they're going going through. You know, I think that that's really the heartbeat and the sound of what it is that I try to do. It's a it's a 
soulful sound. Of course, you know, like you said, people know Let Go. They're familiar. They've gravitated. They love Let Go. So we had the uh, follow-up single. Well, the first single for this new project that we're working on was called Never Be the Same. And it had the same kind of feel as Let Go, that same kind of heartbeat. And, and that's just always my place. I love to be able to sing a ballad, but sing, sing a message that people don't just like to hear. They need to hear it. All right, guys. So make sure that you go on iTunes and get the new single, Friend of Mine. It's available everywhere right now. Is that right, Dwayne? Yes. That's right. You can any anywhere that you download your music, you'll definitely be able to find friend of mine. Again, it features Dave Hollister, Anthony Hamilton. Uh and, and like you said, I just think that it's something that people are gonna really enjoy hearing. And we're waiting on the full album. We've been following you along this journey. You've been giving us the moments, the photo shoot, the studio sessions, and uh, we're excited to take this journey with you. When can we expect the full album? The full album definitely will be first quarter of next year. We're looking at February. Um, we're we're almost almost done. Uh, we have some great collaborations on this record. I'm so excited about it. I did a song with Nick Condition. Um, I also did, you know, of course, I would never do a record without PJ Morton. He was the one that really kind of established the voice and the sound for me in the industry. So uh, we have PJ Morton on this project, Avery Sunshine, Kevin Lemons and Higher Calling. I even went and got my godson, Quentin Ellis from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. He's a 13 year old child prodigy, but he is absolutely amazing. Uh, B Rice, so many different people that we collaborated on with this particular project. And, and I really believe that, that this whole project is going to be something that um, it's going to really inspire people. We're, we're kind of taking the, the title and the theme life lessons and we're uh, building around just the things that we have to go through in life. So you'll have that soundtrack to, to help you through whatever it is that you're going through. All right. Listen, Dwayne, I want to ask you a question. You've been in the industry for so long and I know that you've seen the industry change and evolve. What do you think gospel music will look like in the next 10 to 15 years? You know what, 15 years from now, it is, it's, it's so funny. Um, I think that uh, this generation that I'm in, I, I'm, I'm looking at them going back and they're, they're going back to a lot of the classic sounds now. Um, they're, they're pulling out uh, a lot of remakes. People are, aren't, aren't doing records anymore without having some type of a classic remake, whether it's the Hawkins or whether it's Andre Crouch or, or, or something like that. So I, it, it, it may seem funny, but I, I see music going back to how it felt back in the 80s. And, and I'm really hoping for that because that's the, I just believe that the, the 80s and music, house music was such a phenomenal, phenomenal era. So I think that as, uh, as our generation is growing, they're discovering what it means to really develop songs that will live on years and years and years, even after you're gone. So um, I, I honestly feel like it may go back to that, to that 80s feel. I'm hoping so. All right, guys, again, I'm talking to my brother, Dwayne Woods. He's talking about new music, the new single, Friend of Mine featuring Anthony Hamilton and Dave Hollister. So make sure that you check that out. We're expecting the full album, the top of 2015. Now, Dwayne, give everybody all of your information. Tell them how they can follow you on social media with your silly self. <laughs> I am everywhere on social media. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I am D Woody D D W O O D Y D. And I also have a Facebook fan page that I've maintenanced myself, and it is facebook.com forward slash Dwayne Woods. We made it easy for everybody to be able to keep up with us. And like you said, I am very silly. People don't know that, but I am extremely, extremely silly. And, and God always puts me in places where I can see some of the most amazing things. So uh, just come and follow me and let's have a good time. All right, guys, listen, we are about to take a listen to the new single from Dwayne Woods featuring Dave Hollister and Anthony Hamilton. Listen, Dwayne, I would love it if you would set it up and introduce it to our listeners. As you just said, this is my new single. I am so excited about this song. I'm so excited about this sound. And like you said, it features my brothers, Dave Hollister and Anthony Hamilton. So turn your radios up and enjoy, friend of mine. Well. 